Guys, in this video, I'm going to show you a little secret about how I plan to buy Shiba Inu every single time, where I perceive there to be maximum upside potential and minimal downside potential in the current bull run climate that we are in. If you want to share this strategy with your friends, be sure to like the video so more people learn this and understand how it can be done. So, you know, at the end of the day, it's retailers versus the smart money, and you've got to outplay that smart money. You've got to use fear as your friend anyways guys if you want to hit your crypto goals this year please do smash the subscribe button so i can help you potentially get there now we're looking at shiba inu today right now 15.63 billion dollar market capital over the last seven days things are looking pretty bullish again looks like we're up a good 20 percent in the last week fingers crossed we're on our way to something very very big now i want to talk about basically my very simple strategy which does go down well Pardon me, so far it's made me some decent gains, right? Um, and actually we're breaking out of this macro falling wedge at the moment. If we do hold this position, consolidate a little bit further, I do believe we will touch back into the 0.3 region here for Shiba, um, which would be really, really good. Of course, it's a psychological level, but the fact we are holding above this macro resistance, which is now support, you know, at around the 2.5 level for Shiba Inu, is of course a very good thing. And we wanna see this level of support held. now. What is the small thing that I do that helps me buy into Shiba every single time at almost the right time? Now, it doesn't have 100% success rate, but most of the time, especially these larger cap meme coins, this actually plays and works really, really well. And it's all tied into the relative strength index. So the thing you're going to need is trading view. That's absolutely a must for this one. Now, if you want to sign up to TradingView, I do have a link down below for it. That's completely up to you how you wish to do it. But yeah. we're looking at the relative strength index. And effectively, every time the RSI levels go below 30 for Shiba Inu, so we're talking about around this sort of 30 region here where we have this rectangle, which covers the 30 to 27 region. This is the four hour time frame. Now, every time Shiba Inu for me pops into this very, very, um, small area where it doesn't really get there too often. You can see just looking, you know, in the past. This reflects how overbought or oversold a cryptocurrency is. When the markets crash, when the markets are fearful, when the markets are stinky, you usually see these coins like Shiba Inu go down in price. Effectively, they're being sold. So the RSI will drop down sub 30 and sometimes even sub 20, which is very, very rare, but it has done it on a few occasions, as you can see, as highlighted by this yellow rectangle, which I've just changed the color of. So we can see that is true. Now, if we just kind of go back in time and have a look at what would happen if you bought this coin every single time it was say sub 30 or even in the 25 pocket you can see most of the time not every time but just most of the time you're making money and this is really not that complex right this is very simple stuff that anyone could do so i've not even had a back check of this this could be completely wrong I'm just literally doing it for the video. So I don't know whether what I'm saying is 100% true, but we can just look right now. Now you can see if you did buy the recent dip where the RSI was low on that four hour time frame, you would have made great money. If you bought that particular dip there, however, you can see it did bounce back, but then it actually continued to go back down. So you would actually be in a temporary loss. If you look at this one over here, um, yes, the price went up on the short term, but actually continued to go back down. And if you look over here, well, if you bought there, the price went up. So we can see each time, most of the time, not 100%, because that would be impossible and I'd, I'd be a billionaire already. Um, you can see there are percentage gains on the table. This one here offered 38%. This one over here offered a juicy looking 14%. Now, one of them actually didn't really offer many gains at all. In fact, you would have been up 5%, but then it would have gone down. So you would have actually been down about 12%, but then you could have dollar cost averaged into the next one, which would put you back up quite significantly, 37%. So of all of those, there was really only just one red uh, kind of wave that we can see there. And I guess if we go back in time again to before Shiba Inu pumped, well, actually you can see on this particular occasion, the gains were huge. We had some big gains. We had a 22% potential on the table, ready to, to make quite quickly. We also had another one where you could make 23%. And we also had this one here, which offered a good 13%. Now, how am I gonna set myself up the goal to remind myself to accumulate every time that this particular thing happens? Because the inverse of this is if you buy here and FOMO in, that's when the RSI is overbought. And that's effectively when you start to 
lose money because you're buying the greed, you're chasing the green candle, and effectively in a bull market, you wanna be selling this red area and buying this green area here for dollar cost average entries and holding. You're not trying to get rich overnight, you're trying to buy a bag, hold it for a week, two, four, two months, three months, and then you start selling when you go back into that red region. This also applies to the daily time frame, by the way, guys, so don't just apply it to the four hour. Um, but on the daily time frame, it's much more rare to see these oversold levels. Now, what we're gonna do is go back to that four hour time frame. And effectively, what I wanna do is set myself a target. Now, I'm gonna actually allow TradingView to alert me every time that Shiba Inu basically goes below a certain threshold. So what we'll do is we've created that alert. We're gonna right click here. We're gonna go on add alert on RSI. We're gonna change the condition to effectively moving down or actually it's gonna be less than. Right now the RSI is 52. I am only interested every time that RSI goes sub 30. So that's the only thing that I can really care about on the RSI. And that's something that I believe is important for me to have a constant strategy that works well. So RSI value less than, let's put 30 on that 14 hour time frame, and the trigger will be only once, and the alert name will be named Shiba RSI below 30. So now basically what's gonna happen is, you know, the message here will say RSI index less than 30 on Shiba on the four hour time frame. And effectively, I'm gonna get now an email, a pop-up, a notification, and it will tell me exactly when to sort of dollar cost average in Toshiba. I could be doing something in real life. Oh, I've got an email. Now I know could be a good time to buy Shiba. It also means I don't have to be stuck and glued to the charts. So I'll, I'm gonna create this. Now I've got a notification. So when I look at my alerts, I can actually see Shiba RSI below 30 is now there and ready for me um, for when the time comes. What I'm also gonna do is go to the daily time frame. I'm gonna do the exactly the same thing, but actually I'm more interested in, let's say the 29 region. So I'm gonna go back here, I'm gonna make another alert. I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna click less than, I'm actually gonna put 29.5 on the RSI. I'm interested when Shiba Inu goes less than 25 on the relative strength index on the daily time frame. And I'm gonna name this Shiba, uh, Shiba Inu daily, RSI sub 30 or 29.5, it doesn't really matter. And now I'm gonna create this. And again, I've got a new alert that's specific to me. And when Shiba does crash, when it goes down in price, I know I'm gonna get notified when is an appealing or attractive time for me to be dollar cost averaging into the token. So that's exactly what I'm looking to do. And I guess I just want more people to know about this particular strategy because lots of people overcomplicate and over strategize and make things too complex when sometimes it just needs to be simplicity. This can also be applied to the weekly time frame and also apply to any other coins out there that are quite large in market capital. I have had a lot of trading cycles and overall, you know, there's a lot of historical data there. Um, so really interesting to see how this one might play out, guys. Of course, I'm not saying it 100% works and this is not financial advice at all, but it could be a good one. If you guys also wanna learn um, how to trade, get trading signals, get early insights and all the next big things in the crypto space, whether it's a straight to DEX launch, a new meme coin, check out my Patreon down below. There's only 17 slots left for the crypto legends and this will help you enhance your crypto portfolio. Do remember to also smash that subscribe button. And very quickly, before we do sign off on this video, just a reminder, Doge versus Dow raised $10.3 million. Every time we look at it, it's going up. Dogeverse is a new dog themed meme coin, which is multi-chain. You can buy it across six different chains, being Ethereum, BNB, Matic, Avalanche, and Base. And very soon, it's also launching on Solana. So that's a lot of trading pairs to support the ecosystem and hopefully divert massive growth. Also got solid tokenomics, 200 billion max tokens, and a really nice roadmap hinting at a centralized exchange listing at phase five. The link is down below if you wanna grab some Dogeverse guys, but remember this is not financial advice, this is high risk, high reward entity. And overall, here is a Twitter at 8.4K followers. Let me know what your strategy is for buying meme coins. And if you like this type of content, let me know by hitting that subscribe button and cracking that like button in half. Hit the like button, let the world know about Shiba Inu, let the world know about this strategy, which could potentially work very well. For me, it's always worked pretty well. Sometimes it doesn't when you have that really sort of black swan event or very much volatility in the markets, but in a bull run because we're looking at buying those support thresholds it makes more sense to me so anyways see you soon take care and stay crypto safe